Hey guys, it's time to do the most requested speed test there is, which is the comparison between the OnePlus 5T and the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Now the OnePlus 5T is probably the most powerful Android phone of last year. It has 8 gb of RAM, uh, Snapdragon 835, with extremely fast software optimization. I mean, this thing flies through everything, so. But let's see if we can beat the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus or not. So we're gonna start off with a boot up comparison. So booting up at the same time here, we go and uh, this is uh, the official Oreo powered OnePlus 5D. I just received the official update so uh, hopefully the speed and everything will be on its top performance so uh, let's see okay Samsung logo and we're done Galaxy S9 Plus is on and the OnePlus 5D was right behind it. So not a huge margin there. So far, the Galaxy S9 Plus has defeated every single phone when it comes to booting up, except the Pixel. So, so everything is closed up in the background. And we're going to kick things off with the first basic application, which is the phone dialer. So here we go. And as you can see, it felt a little bit quicker on the OnePlus 5D, although the animations feel really, really fast. Uh, on the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus as well. Again, you guys are the judge here. We're moving down to the settings. Let's go. And again, faster on the OnePlus 5D. So that was the assist of the animation. Let's see what's gonna happen if we launch some games. So starting off with the Subway Surfer game. And uh, let's see, okay, Galaxy S9 Plus just like that, winner. And the OnePlus 5D is also done. So just quickly start playing this game. And let's go back. And we'll see if that is there or not with the RAM management. Moving on to the next game, which is going to be the Asphalt 8 game. Okay. All right, OnePlus 5D. No, the Galaxy S9 Plus, a little bit faster there. I almost thought that 5D would be faster but it is a little bit slower in terms of loading up the asphalt 8 game next up we got alto game and let's see let's see galaxy s9 plus it is slightly ahead and some of you guys have been commenting that uh, why ain't the app is full screen so you can actually make the app full screen by clicking this key here so it just you know optimizes this for this 18 by 9 display you can do that or you can have that black bar so snapchat oneplus 5d spotify and faster on the oneplus 5d soundcloud almost the same smash hit another game let's see the galaxy s9 plus just stay here line quicker there pin out And again, Galaxy S9 Plus faster there. Main gains that are here is in terms of uh, the game loading times. Other than that, they have a very similar performance. Let's check out Twitter. And about the same on both phones. Cora. And faster on. Okay, about the same on both phones with the latest feed. That was really close. Again, you guys are the judge here. So last year, I'll be launching the cameras at the same time. Let's go. And faster on the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Now time for the browsing war. So we have the Google Chrome on the OnePlus 5D up against the Samsung Internet Browser on the Galaxy S9 Plus. So going here with the first website, wikipedia.org. And as you can see, OnePlus 5D faster here uh, with this website. Scrolling looks smooth and same thing with zooming in and out. Next up, we got gsmarina.com and Okay, 5D first one to come to the website. And it also finishes up faster, so nil win for the OnePlus 5D when it comes to browsing. Real close performance, but the 5D was able to go ahead. And again, similar smooth performance when it comes to scrolling. I can't zoom in on the 5D. Maybe it's the Google Chrome thing, but I can do that on the Samsung Internet Browser for the S9. Now time for the RAM management and see who is going to be the first one to fall. So first is the phone dialer still there. Settings. And that might got refreshed on the OnePlus 5D. It showed a little bit of a black thing. Again, you guys are the judge. Subway Surfer. And Subway Surfer got refreshed. 
on the 5D. That is a bit shocking. Let's see, we got Asphalt 8. And that also got refreshed on the 5D. Alto. And Alto also got refreshed. So, so far, OnePlus 5D is refreshing everything. Maybe it's because of the Android Oreo, because this never happened when I was on the Nougat. So, let's see. Snapchat, that is still there. So, it refreshed all the games, but other apps are here. You know, light apps. All of them. Smash Hit. Okay, first game that is inside the memory. Pin Out. So definitely not all the games, but few were refresh, And the other remaining apps are still here in the memory. But you can see the S9 Plus time and time again. This phone is keeping everything in the memory while other phones, they just struggle. Like even the iPhone 10 struggled a lot in the RAM management. So, so yeah guys, the Galaxy S9 Plus is the leader when it comes to the RAM management. It is faster in terms of game loading times as well, thanks to the Exynos 9810 chip inside. Thanks to the Exynos 9810 chip inside, it is really, really fast. And uh, OnePlus 5D is still a really awesome phone. I mean, for the price point, this performance is insane. So still, it's uh, one of the best phone you can purchase if you are tight on budget. Uh, but the S9 Plus is definitely showing us that it is the most powerful Android phone right now in the world. So yeah, hopefully things will change with the OnePlus 6, uh, but we have to wait for that. Anyways, if you guys don't know already,